for BB Tag. The one thing that caught me off guard um, about the roundtable was how they had announcements literally in the schedule. And somehow every developer talked about all of their current fighting games except for Arxis. Even though a side games rep wasn't even there, somehow it was still announced that Grand Blue Fantasy Versus would get its reveal this coming Saturday. For BB Tag, we got some art, you know, and it looks nice, you know, but we got some art and Arc Rebel Online. That's it. And that really stuck out to me since every other dev talked about all of their games, you know? I was kind of surprised that uh, Mori wasn't there either. But I did see someone on Twitter and they asked him why he wasn't at the round table and he said that there's nothing to announce right now. Then a few days ago, he put up a sketch of a new character that, that um, will be appearing in Blaze Blue Dark War, the mobile game that they've been working on, you know, for a while now. So it was good to see something from Mori since it's been so long since he's made an announcement. Um, personally, I was a bit worried that something was going on with his health um, and that maybe he was trying to hide it, Arxis was trying to hide it, but at least right now it sounds like that's not the case at all. It sounds like he's good, you know, and that he's still working. And I'm really hoping that they're not hiding anything from us regarding the pandemic um, affecting their employees. You know, so far we haven't heard anything, so for right now, I'm going to assume that they're good, since nothing has been said. Um, let's see here. Yeah, okay, Shinobi. So, I mean, there's, there's different ways to interpret that. He said there's nothing to announce right now. That, I mean, literally... It could be, hey, there's nothing to announce today. There could be something to announce next week. Pretty much, it was just there's nothing to announce right now. That's it, right? It was vague. I'd rather him say there's nothing to announce right now than we're not going to be announcing anything else for the game. You know? Yeah, so... Okay, yeah, so Devin, um, I have... I remember I read about that somewhere. So, Mori is in a new position now um, at Arxis. But at the same time, BB Tag was his idea. So, I think that he would still be over it in some way. Since that was like... It sounds like that was like his brainchild, pretty much. So, I think that he would still be involved with his development, you know. Yeah, I know, guys. I know. I know. It has been a while. <laughs> it's been a long time, and we still haven't seen anything regarding the game. Trust me. All right, Thor. I got you, dude. Uh, take care and have a good one, man. So, looking at the current state of BB Tag, it's surprisingly still alive and well despite the lack of communication from Arxis. The game's been on sale multiple times within the past six months or so, and I think that's a big reason why we've seen a rise in new players, and I think that that's great, you know? We have more people actively online now than we did just a few months ago, and that honestly surprises me, given the current circumstances. But with BB Tag being announced as a main title for both um, for Arc Revel Online in both America and Japan, I think a balance patch should come sooner rather than later. A lot of fans in the West aren't taking it too seriously because the netcode is what it is, but at the very least, they could give the game a much needed balance patch before the online tour starts. In the past, every major balance, uh, every major balance update also had new characters. So until they break that pattern, I think we'll continue to get more DLC. There's still, you know, 
some easy money to be made with the game with how much demand there's been for characters that already have sprites like Risei, Terumi, Kokonoe, etc. Even if they wanted to move on from BB Tag to their next project, it's just hard for me to see to see them not at least adding those last few popular characters that are easy to bring over, especially given that the game is still drawing in new players, you know? As it is right now, they plan on flying the top eight in America to California for finals at the end of the year. Some fans won't be competing simply because they don't think the virus will be gone by then. Um, I'm sure that if things still look bad at the end of the year, Arxis would probably just have finals online. Okay. Echi Hentai Anime, thank you so much for the follow. Very ambitious name there. Thank you, bro. Definitely appreciate it. They also, um, they also next year, after they have the finals uh, this year, they also next year plan on having a Japan versus America exhibition match next spring. The main point here is that it sounds like Arx is planned on BB Tag still being relevant well into next year. And spring doesn't start till late March. So I expect for them to have solid plans for the game at this point. My biggest concern is when we'll hear about an update. You guys already know that ARK usually likes to make announcements at big events, but it's also hard to predict uh, what they're gonna do. So take what I'm about to say with like a fraction of a grain of salt. Only one big event stuck out to me that'll be happening soonish. And that's the Tokyo Game Show. Originally, it was canceled for this year, but they have rescheduled it as an online event that starts September 23rd. All right. Just let me double check the chat really quick. Okay. Yeah, I I'm not going to talk about that. Um I mean, at this point I don't think there's any reason to talk about that. If you guys want to in the chat, feel free to. You know, that's totally fine, but I think that at this point that's old news and that it's best to just move on from it. So anyway, looking at the pattern of the Guilty Gear reveal trailers, um, they've been revealing at least one new character, sometimes two, every other month since the start of this year. The only exception was when they revealed details about the closed beta in the third trailer that we got in March, and they saved the fourth trailer for the IGN Summer of Gaming in June. But after that, we got a new trailer this month, and the next one will be two months from now in October, and it looks like Arc Revo America Finals will be in December, which would make sense for another Guilty Gear reveal. So, so if that's the case, then that means no Guilty Gear reveal for TGS, so that could maybe be BB Tag's chance to have an update announced, if the update comes out three months after the announcement like usual, then we would be getting it in December after Arc Revo Finals are done. And yes, it'd suck to go that long without a balance patch, but at least there wouldn't be a new patch dropping in the middle of the online tour, because that would be really annoying for those that are competing. Um, again, that's just my best guess for when we hear something because ARK has made announcements at TGS for the past couple of years, and it looks like this timing lines up with their ARK Revo schedule. At this point, um, I honestly just feel like if we don't hear anything at all this year, 
it's pretty safe to say that they're done with DLC support for the game. But with where the game is right now, and how well it's done for them, more DLC just makes sense, in my opinion.